Let's make a little bit of a spot for the infinity stones on the back here. This is probably the best looking Huggy Wuggy that I've got. I mean, the other one's not too bad. We're about to have ourselves an all out cyber war. Going champs, we're playing Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Take a look at this guy. He's called the Alpha King Titan. He looks like a giant bear lizard. Take a look at these stats. The stats are basically maximum. I'm going to put him up against some super dragons, including the blue dragon that I made on the last video. I still don't have a name for this guy, though. So if you want to name him, go ahead and chuck a name in the comments below, and we'll name him in the next video. These other dragons have a thousand times their normal health. Let's see how they go. Oh, and they're off. Here they go. Breathing blue fire on the guy. That looks pretty amazing. I think blue fire is better fire. It's got to be hotter, right? Blue is always hotter than red, probably. <laughs> because they've got a thousand times more health, they're living a little bit longer than I thought they would. Okay, no, a couple of them have already died. How many's left? Any? The dude is on his back. He's actually rolled onto his side and exposed his belly. Okay. Nobody scratch his belly, all right. I've tried scratching my cat's belly before when it rolled on its back. That was a bad idea. Okay, these dragons are actually doing all right. They've managed to get 4% of his health off. Oh, he's coming around for one last breathe. He's breathing on his tail. I don't know if that's actually gonna do anything. Here he comes, here he comes. Watch out, you gotta get stabbed. Ah, oh, he got stabbed by the claws. Wait a second, he's got a broken finger? <laughs> okay, how did his finger break? We've got Kurnuvo Grum. That's his real name, apparently. Up against Alpha King Titan. Let's go. Oh yeah, this one's gonna be good. That guy's got laser beams, I think. Maybe he does. I think they're actually trying to kiss. Okay, he just exploded. Wow, that must have been a really good kiss. Is that supposed to be a beard? Do you have a spiky beard? These dudes are called Cyborg Spinos MK20. All right, champs, get in there. Do your spino thing. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that move is. Okay, one of them's already dead. I don't think they're very tough. They're certainly not Titan level tough. But this Titan, he doesn't appear to have any kind of laser beams or anything like that. So he's kind of copping a little bit of a beating. But it's not hurting him in the slightest. Okay, there we go. It's like if I was to get attacked by some newborn kittens or something. I mean, I wouldn't crush them. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> Look at this man. He is covered in bacon grease, probably. <laughs> I'm gonna put this massive human army up against three of those cyborg spinos. That is so hard to say. It really is. Okay, let's go, champs. That's quite a fair few. What just happened? Okay, they're getting in there. They turned the other way for some reason. I don't know why, but they're battling the dinosaurs and I think they're doing... No, they're not doing very well at all. They're just getting crushed big time. I thought one of them died, but I think he was playing dead to get the other ones to come in. He's like, hey, I'm actually a dead dinosaur. Come over here, champs. And then next minute, he's just biting them. Is it like none of them left? Oh, there's this guy. Yeah, this surfer dude down here with these things just shooting trees. He's just shooting trees. He's a surfer guy, but he really hates trees for some reason. He is dangerously close to that mouth. Okay, the humans definitely won that one without a doubt. But what about this unit who's just called Cyborg? That's what he's called. Not even called like Cyborg Rex or anything cool like that. Get out of the tree, Finn. What are you doing? My money's on these Cyborg guys though, because I think they've got laser beams on the inside of those giant claw things going on. Let's see how they go though. Oh yeah, they definitely have laser beams. That's good. They're actually just charging them off the map. I think these guys need a bigger map. How are they going? Where's their health pools? Oh, these dudes are actually evenly matched. This is really good. One of them died. I don't know who it was, but they're charging that other spino on the ground there. Oh, all his armor's come off. He wasn't a cyborg at all. He was a big fat phony. Three cyborgs versus the fist army. We've got Mr. Handy, we've got, uh, Mc McRumble? <laughs> we've got Bashies, we've got Fistzilla at the back here. I even threw in DJ Chad and Planet Fist. If you have a look at their stats, I think this is going to be pretty evenly matched. Alrighty, champs, let's go! Yeah, most of the Mr. Handy's just got blown away with, uh, with the Cyborg's lasers. Okay, here's where things start to get pretty interesting. One of the cyborgs was just destroyed. I think Vizilla just came in and wrecked the lot of them. 
Whoa! Let's see how this battle goes without Fistzilla. Okay. Yeah. No one's actually been smashed yet. How's their health going? Oh, Planet Fist! He's almost dead! That cyborg there, he's got half health. How's this guy going? Not so good. Okay, this one's about to drop. Oh, this is actually really evenly matched. Okay, there goes the second cyborg. One left! The Bashies are getting in there and they're trying to take him out. There's not many of the Fist units left. There's really only a couple. Bashy's getting in there. I can't believe how close this is. This is incredibly close. Come on, champs. Come on, Bashy. Oh, no. No, he's only got a little bit of health. Oh, so close. We're about to have ourselves an all-out cyber war. We've got... Ro What's he called? Oh, man. Robozilla. We've got Robozilla here. We've got Gorolla, Roto Flame, Cyborg Kong. Man, there's so many crazy ones over here. Robo Rex, Cyborg, Spider Mac, uh, Pete, Pete, what the heck are you doing here? And go. Okay, wow. Gorolla's just got wrecked in one hit. That was him. Oh my god. There's parts of Robot going absolutely everywhere. What happened to all the Robo Rexes? They were almost destroyed in one hit. And here comes Pete. Pete's just coming through. Oi, right, how much HP do you... Okay, this guy is super tough. I don't have anyone as tough as this guy. Okay, Bullet Bob, you're on this team, champ. We're gonna have to see this one in slow-mo. Bullet Bob is way too hard to capture in fast speed. All right, Bullet Bob, he's coming in. Oh my God. Yep, he just, he killed everyone in one hit. He's about to destroy that Cyborg Monkey as well. Yep, Cyborg Monkey is down. Pretty certain Bullet Bob was the MVP of that match. He doesn't even have a body. Or arms. It's been a while since we've done some battles between some giant beasts, so here we go. We've got Legendary Godzilla up against Kavanu Dog, or whatever he's called, I forget his name. Wait, what are you doing, champ? Oh, he's, he's just dancing. He's just doing a friendly little tappy tap. While well, those guys are over there fighting. Okay, that one just exploded into a thousand bits. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be so good. Just blasted him with the beams right across the chest. Oh, they're celebrating with fireworks or something. Who's gonna be the victor? We've got ba Barabadur. Man, these guys have some of the weirdest names I've ever heard. Kavanu Dog. <laughs> That's not his real name. Well done. This thing is probably one of the most creative looking units I've ever seen. It's called Sky Tentacles. I'm guessing it's based off this weird bubble thing on the ground here. Get out of here, dinosaur blue guy. So I'm going to put it up against some dinosaurs and see how it goes. All right, let's go, champs. This thing's got laser beams. It's got laser beams up in its purple sky. Whoa. Just zapped them all in the head. Didn't even need to use the tentacles. Okay, from one space monster to another, we've got Cthulhu. We're gonna put him up against the Sky Tentacles. They're both kind of like space krakens, sort of. All right, let's go, dude. Is he just gonna blast in there? Yep. <laughs> it's hard to find an even matchup for this thing. Okay, let's go with super tough T-Rexes. Yeah, this is better. Now we're seeing the tentacles. Whoa! So it's got harpoons that come down and actually pick up the dinosaurs and then stab them with the tentacles. That's crazy. They're all trying to bite that metal ball thing on the ground there because that's his weak spot. That is one seriously cool unit. This is a Huggy Wuggy unit that someone made and he's got a 2000 health multiplier. All right, in he goes. He's getting zapped with lasers. Will he get picked up by the harpoon? That's the question. Oh, he's going for the metal ball thing on the ground. Swinging his arms around. He's actually losing some of his health. And he's got a lot of it. What about this guy? No, he's still got full health. It's such a tiny health bar, though. <laughs> uh, I can't even see him. 2,000... No, 200 HP multiplier. He is just smashing Huggy Wuggy. This is crazy. Come on, dude. Pick him up. That's it. Lifted him off the ground. Oh, he's gonna beat you, champ. Just can't get, can't even get a hit on him. And you're done. Ah, oh, he was really a man skeleton this whole time. So I've had some requests to try and make a super Huggy Wuggy, right? This is probably the best looking Huggy Wuggy that I've got. I mean, the other one's not too bad. I don't know. He's kind of, 
He's kind of like the less scary version. This one has just got a real creepy looking face. Look at that face, it's scary. What if I was to give him like an infinity gauntlet? That'd be pretty tough. Let's just get rid of this hand. Oh my God, could you hold your hand still? How am I supposed to give him an infinity gauntlet if he won't even hold still? Quite, quite tough to make this, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, then we'll try and get the knuckles happening. Just try to do the thumb piece. There we go, not looking too bad. Oh yeah, that actually turned out pretty well. I didn't think it was gonna, and then it did. Okay, let's make a little bit of a spot for the infinity stones on the back here. And we're gonna give this glove some cool powers. Probably like lightning gun, flamethrower, some other things. Okay, let's see if I can remember this. So we've got uh, yellow, green, uh, purple, blue, red, and then orange. I don't have an orange. Maybe I'll just go red and yellow together. Eh, it's kind of orange. Yeah, nice. The next trick is to use hex and make tiny weapons that fit on this thing so that you can't really see them or they don't stand out too much. Okay, check this out. I should be able to make a super small lightning gun. If you could just hold this gauntlet still for a second. Yeah, it's so tiny you can't even see it. I'm gonna put a couple on there and they're crazy powerful. Oh yeah, let's put a few flamethrowers on there as well. Maybe a few missile launchers. Now, I don't know if size determines how powerful these things are, but we're gonna find out. Let's get some skeletons, chuck them over here, see if super powered Huggy Wuggy works before we go ahead and put blue stuff back on his arm. Skeletons are coming in. Is he gonna use those itty bitty weapons? Oh, he is! Whoa! Get wrecked, dudes! Okay, yeah, that is one powerful gauntlet. You can't even see the missile launchers on the actual gauntlet. That's how little they are. Let me pause this. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> they're like the size of ants. So they're effectively hidden, which is super cool. There we go. Just gonna cover his arm back up so you can, you know, just to hide the fact that he's really a snake person. I'm gonna name this dude Infinity Huggy. Let's see how Infinity Huggy goes up against some humans with guns. Here they come. They've got actual guns. Yes, they can shoot. He just blasted the heck out of the lot of them. That is so cool. Are the flames doing anything though? Is the flamethrower even a thing? It doesn't seem like it is. Yeah, he didn't use the flamethrowers once. He definitely snapped some people out of existence though. Let's try Infinity Huggy up against my fire, lightning, and regular Pickle Ricks. Okay, oh, yep. <laughs> He's crazy overpowered. He has one of them stuck on his leg. Whoa, that was nuts. Okay, yeah, Huggy is definitely one tough dude. I don't think he's got a lot of health though, so a good hit on him would kill him. And we've come full circle. We are back to Alpha King Rex. Let's go. Let's go. Huggy's coming in. Alpha King Rex. Oh, this is gonna be good. He's fired some missiles. This guy's about ready to get wrecked. You know he's gonna. You know he's gonna. What's gonna happen? Oh, dude, this is crazy. He's already down to half health. Okay, let's just let go normal speed. Yeah, he just exploded. Infinity Huggy is unstoppable. All right, guys, if you got any ideas for any custom units, let me know in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys next time.